Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a video on how you can take out your fifth wheel hitch from your truck the easy way. We've all been there where we've needed to take the hitch out whether it be to get some construction supplies, drywall, lumber, etc. Maybe you're helping a friend move and you just need the space in your truck. Maybe you don't want to take your fifth wheel or everywhere with you when you're not towing. So, you know, we've all been there where we've manually muscled the fifth wheel out of our trucks and are called a buddy or a family member to help lift it out of the truck. And that's not so bad if you have one of the smaller fifth wheels, um, you know, because you had an eight foot box, non-slider. Those were fairly easy to move around one person and just needing somebody to help you lift it off the tailgate and down to the ground. But as we got more and more six and a half foot boxes and we got into slider hitches and or more sophisticated hitches to really make the RV lifestyle easy, it got harder and harder to get these hitches out. And the reason for that is they get heavier. Perfect, perfect example is this hitch that you see here. Now for those of you that haven't seen my hitch video, this is a Demco auto slide hitch. It's a 21,000 pound rated hitch. Very heavy duty, very robust, which makes it a great hitch, but absolutely a nightmare to move. Two people will struggle to lift this hitch out of its bracket and even move it around the back of the truck. That's how robust it is. And there's a number of hitches like these in the marketplace that just make the RVing lifestyle easy. And that's because when it says auto slide, that's what it does. It slides pretty much automatically when you need it. Anyways, check out my earlier video on the hitch if you have some interest in that. So, you know, you wanna know how do you move that hitch, especially if you don't have somebody to help you. Well, there is an easy tool. And there's about two varieties that we've seen. What the tool you can get, it's called a fifth wheel lifting hook or bracket. Uh, there's two varieties. I've seen B&W hitches makes a variety that looks a little different than this for their hitches. If you go to your dealer to order one of these, they'll order you up a Demco one one that's made by Demco. Uh, I haven't seen any made by any other hitch manufacturers. I could be wrong, but I haven't seen them. Ours, now I'll bring this a little closer. Ours, I actually just ordered on Amazon. Uh, the reason I did that is basically the design is very simple. They're, they're all almost identical. They're made of steel. They're very heavy duty. This one and most of them out there are rated at 500 pounds. Uh, now, if you order it through your dealer, the two that I mentioned will vary a little bit in price. You're probably going to be somewhere between 50, 60 dollars Canadian up to 80 dollars Canadian, depending where you are. On Amazon, this is going to run you about 32 to 45 dollars. We paid about 33 Canadian at the time of filming. In the U.S. for our U.S. cousins, this is going to run about 15 to 25 dollars U.S. off of Amazon.com. I'll put a link to this down in the description below. And what I'll do for those of you that are um, interested, I'll put a secondary link. Now the secondary link. I'll describe in a second. So basically all this does is you take it, you place it over to your fifth wheel head as you open it. Now different hitches will work different ways. Make sure that it closes around it and you'll see it, it's closed nicely. Now what you can then do 
is if you have an unfinished garage where you have access to your rafters, you can order up, and there's a variety of places to get them. I'll put an Amazon link. Um, you can get an electric winch. You secure it up to your rafters. There's a variety of ways you can do it. Push button operated, and what would happen is the winch will have a cable and a chain and a hook, and basically it's meant to hook onto it and then it lifts so you can lift your fifth wheel up and out of your truck. Now, that electric winch just makes it easy. Sorry, I'm just pulling that out for use while well, believe it now. Um, that electric winch makes it easy to lift it up out of the truck. You drive your truck out of your garage, lower it down, what I would be doing if I'm using an electric hinge, which I'm not, I'll tell you in a second what I'm going to do. I would build a platform with caster wheels underneath. That way when I lower my hitch, it goes onto the platform and then I can push it around my garage so it stays in the garage, protected from any kind of weather, and I can move it out of the way in case I need to use that part of the garage. Now, if you have a manual come along, which is like an electric winch, just the manual version, where you're gonna hand crank to operate the cable, you can basically do the same thing. Hand crank it, lift it up, and then crank it down. For the money, go for the electric winch is my suggestion to you. What I'm gonna be doing, my garage is finished. Uh, it's been finished since the day we built the house. So I, you know, I don't wanna start tearing drywall down to hook up an electric winch, but I have a, a different route. If you happen to have a tractor like we have, I have a fairly decent sized tractor here for doing some work around the property. Um, I also have some pallet forks. So I'm going to actually use the pallet forks, secure a chain via the pallet forks, be able to gently lift the hitch up out of the truck and then actually with the tractor back it away put it onto a skid and then grab the skid with the pallet forks move it into the garage where I want it moved and that way the manual labor side of it is very very minimal um, and I'm sorry if you see me uh, <laughs> shaking my hands a little bit we are filming outside it is Canadian winter it just happens to be a decent day and I thought I'd bring the filming outside for you guys so that's how we're going to be moving it so you have a couple of options and what's nice with either of these options is, is that it now really becomes a one man or one woman job you don't have to worry if you've hurt your arm your back you can lift it out so you can use your truck for other purposes without straining yourself or having to wait for friends to come over and do it you can do it at any time if you decide last minute you want to take an rv trip you're going to do the reverse, lift it with the winch, back the truck over, drop it down, and then you'll, you know, you may need to fine tune where you're placing it, but that's pretty straightforward. Um, anyways, that's basically the gist of it. Now, what I'm going to do is get the tractor and let's show you what it would be like lifting it out using our fifth wheel hitch lifting bracket.
Okay, so you were able to witness via this video the first time that I've actually pulled the hitch. And you noticed it just caught a little bit on one side, not a big deal. That just tells me I've got to just adjust the way it's being lifted the next time. But with the tractor, fairly simple, lifts it right up, backed it out. And as you can see, we've already got it placed on our skid here next to us. Uh, now I'm going to take the same forks and lift this, put it in the garage, and it'll actually be away f until I uh, need it back in the truck in the next little while. But that made it really easy, very little work. There's a little bit of work because you're placing the boards. If you have a second hand just to kind of give a final placement as you're lowering it, it makes it easier, but again, Doing it one person, I was able to bring the back because it does hang down a bit from the way the weight is. And because the head is right up at the front, be able to just kind of drop it down on the edge of the skid, which stabilizes it. Place my boards underneath so that my arms that drop underneath the bed to lock the hitch in place aren't actually supporting the entire hitch while it's sitting there. It's actually sitting on the frame, which is always the best way to do it. We're gonna put this away. That gives you a little conclusion of the fifth wheel um, lifting hitch hook. Great little investment for the 30 odd dollars Canadian, 20 odd dollars US, really can make the job easy. If you have one of those electric winches in your garage, it'll be super easy because it'll be a straight up lift and a straight drop. Uh, where with the tractor, you know, I may need to bring the forks in when I'm lifting and placing the hitch and then slide them out to grab the pallet. Not a big deal because these are pretty quickly adjustable. I hope you guys have enjoyed that video, that it's helped you out if you travel with a fifth wheel trailer and or even a fifth wheel utility style trailer. I hope that'll help. If you like the video, please click the like button, hit the subscribe, we'd greatly appreciate it. Check back soon, we're gonna bring you some helpful tips like this as well as some do-it-yourself videos. Um, for the truck and little accessories that you may need to just make your life a little easier. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Tune back in soon. We appreciate you being our viewers. Take care.